What if I told you that the course of Western civilization was altered not by armies or empires, but by the sheer will of a single man? This is the story of Julius Caesar, a name that not only marked an era, but whose echoes can still be heard in the corridors of power today. From his birth into aristocracy to his dramatic fall on the Ides of March, join us as we unfold the epic saga of a man who was both hero and villain in his quest to reshape the world. Gaius Julius Caesar was born on July 12, 100 BCE, into the prestigious Julian clan of Rome. His lineage was noble, with ancestors claiming ties to the goddess Venus. Despite such illustrious roots, Caesar's early life was fraught with danger. At the tender age of 15, he became the head of his household following his father's sudden death. The political climate was unstable and Caesar's connection to the then outcast faction of his uncle Gaius Marius put his life in peril. Stripped of his inheritance by the dictator Sulla, young Caesar showed the first signs of his defiant spirit, refusing to divorce his wife Cornelia as commanded and choosing instead the uncertainty of exile. During his time away from Rome, Caesar joined the military and quickly distinguished himself, earning the civic crown for his bravery at the Siege of Mytilene. Upon Sulla's death in 78 BCE, he returned to Rome carving out a new path as a lawyer known for his persuasive oratory. His political career began to take shape as he took on roles such as military tribune and pontifex, climbing the cursus honorum, the ladder of offices that shaped Roman political careers. Caesar's rise to the consulate in 59 BCE marked the beginning of his prominence in Roman politics. Forming the first triumvirate with Pompey and Crassus, he secured a governorship in Gaul, where over the next decade he expanded Roman territories and filled his coffers all while building a personal army fiercely loyal to him alone. In 49 BCE, the delicate balance of power came to a head. Ordered by the Senate to disband his army, Caesar instead made a gamble that would change history forever. He crossed the Rubicon River, famously remarking, the die is cast, and plunged Rome into civil war. His subsequent victories in the war culminated in his absolute power as the dictator of Rome. Caesar's time as dictator was marked by significant reforms aimed at improving the lives of the common people. He restructured the debt system, reformed the calendar, and expanded the Senate to better represent the people of the Roman territories. However, his concentration of power disturbed many who saw in his reforms the end of the Republic. On March 15, 44 BCE, the fear and envy of his peers culminated in his assassination, a brutal end as he was stabbed 23 times by a faction of senators. Contrary to popular belief, he likely died in silence, his death marking the fall of the Roman Republic and the rise of the empire under his adopted heir, Octavian. Julius Caesar was a complex figure, warrior, statesman, reformer. His ambition molded an empire, his genius rewrote the fate of nations, and his legacy fashioned the very idea of what it means to be a leader. As we look back on his life, we see not just a man, but a narrative that continues to influence our world. Caesar's life reminds us that behind every legend there lies a story of human frailty and the unquenchable thirst for greatness.